So Argyle, the only major release at the cinema this past week, is already being considered a box office flop. Now I could venture a guess and say that a lot of you didn't even know that this movie existed. I saw virtually no buzz for it leading up to its release. The only real coverage that it got involved the film's director being outspoken about other people's films more so than he was his own film. Of course, this hasn't stopped the media or social media from looking for someone to blame. And as usual in these instances, they are looking in all the wrong places. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So Argyle, the 200 million star-studded spy thriller from Apple Studios, debuted with 18 million in ticket sales. According to studio estimates, the film managed to lead the weekend box office but still found little interest from moviegoers. I don't care! So it never fails. Every single time a movie fails in this manner, you have an army of apologists coming out looking for someone to blame, and trying to defend the film. I mean, you can literally set your watch to it. It's going to happen every single time out. Sometimes they will blame phantom external issues like misogyny or racism or toxic fans, even though we already have boatloads of evidence to the contrary. In other instances, the media will focus in on one factor or one person in particular to blame this lack of success on. A lot of times, if it's a person, there will be a clear media-driven agenda behind those accusations, which is a big reason why a lot of people do not listen to the mainstream media anymore. Whatever it is that you're offering, we're not into it, don't care, couldn't care less. These people who are supposed to be reporting on things in an unbiased and impartial way will always try to redirect the conversation in a direction that suits their narrative. And that's exactly what's happening right now with Argyle. Now, it may not be as blatantly obvious as some of the other smear campaigns led by the media in the past, but at this point, I've trained myself to look for these things because optics are everything. And we have disingenuous people controlling the conversations that influence those optics. So on more than one instance, I've seen Henry Cavill's name mentioned in news story headlines covering the box office for Argyle. Screen Rant referred to the film as the new Henry Cavill spy movie before reporting the numbers. CBR referred to the film as Henry Cavill's $200 million film as if he paid for it himself. Forbes claimed that Henry Cavill's new movie is bombing spectacularly with critics. And it didn't stop there because then social media trolls took action because they are basically an extension of the media repeating everything they hear and read like brain dead zombies. This troll in particular said, quote, I'm afraid the ship has sailed on Henry Cavill as a movie star. So let me put things into perspective for you, because that's what I'm here for. I will admit that the marketing for this movie could be described as somewhat misleading. Although I would argue that in the trailer they make it very clear that Henry Cavill's character is supposed to be a fictional character within the movie being written by Bryce Dallas Howard's character. So I don't know how much anyone with a brain could really expect from him in this role. But the reality of the situation is that Henry Cavill appears in this film for a grand total of around 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes of screen time in a 2 hour and 19 minute film. Now I have no idea if these reporters who are reporting on the box office actually saw this film. But to describe it as a Henry Cavill led project and trying to place the blame on his very broad shoulders is painfully misleading. You sit on a throne of lies. Outside of a handful of articles, maybe one or two, I noticed that Matthew Vaughn's name was mentioned in the headline next to such words as flop and disaster. I've seen absolutely zero mention of Bryce Dallas Howard or Sam Rockwell, who are the actual leads of this film, by the way. Bryce Dallas Howard's character in particular is intended to actually carry this film, but as you watch it, it becomes painfully obvious that whoever made the decision to build this film around her has no idea what they are doing because she is miscast and out of place. I don't even see John Cena's name mentioned anywhere, and he's in the film probably just as much as Cavill is. I don't know, maybe the internet meme is true and people really can't see him. 
Go f another fish, asshole. I don't even see Apple mentioned all that much, and they are the dopes that put up 200 million to make this piece of sh So I'm going to ask the question again, why is Henry Cavill's name the name that's being mentioned the most? He's done virtually no press to promote this film that I've seen, yet it feels like he's being carted out in front of the public like a sacrificial lamb, and judging by the way that it's coming off, it feels very orchestrated to me. Now listen, I'll be the first one to tell you that Henry Cavill should probably scale back and not be so quick to attach his name to shit like this, but the public perception based on these articles and headlines is that he is the main reason why this movie is flopping. There's actually a whole line of dialogue about this in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where the producer tells the actor that the roles that he takes influences how the audience views him. Now you could place some of the blame on Henry Cavill for choosing bad roles. The only difference here is that it's the media who is trying to paint Henry Cavill in a negative light. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I still think this has a lot to do with the fact that he happened to play Superman in a movie that people couldn't really process when it was released. Not impressed. I actually firmly believe that there has been a built-in agenda against this man since he starred in that film. And I think it's been coming from the studio level and being filtered down through the media. Would you really put it past a studio like WB, for instance, to try to smear his image in the public eye? Because they know that a lot of people would prefer him over the great value version of him that we will be getting in Superman Legacy. I wouldn't. I would definitely think that they are capable of doing something shady just like that. And it's already working because now the apologists are out on social media and trying to spread this message like the drones that they are. Absolutely minimal mention of Matthew Vaughn, or Apple for that matter, who should be most to blame for this film failing. I don't know, maybe this film sounded better on paper to the actors involved, and Matthew Vaughn's execution was just dog shit. Did you ever think about that? That makes sense. Why is it that every single time another terrible or mediocre film comes out and disappears with very little fanfare? Absolutely no one blames the studio or the creative team for making a bad product. In fact, you have bots on social media more often than not defending this garbage and telling the film's critics that they're just haters and they don't know how to have fun. All I see are people saying, it's not that bad. Don't listen to critics. Well, I hate to break it to you, but sometimes even the critics get it right. There was absolutely no buzz for this movie. The entire plot was spoiled two years before this film was released when it was announced. And the trailer, which is supposed to sell people on the prospect of seeing this film, clearly didn't do its job. It's why you fail. Maybe instead of trying to blame Henry Cavill because you have some kind of personal issue with him, you should just accept the fact that the movie sucked overall and nobody really cared enough to give it a chance. Why exactly is that so difficult for some people to admit? It happened with the last Exorcist movie. It happened with the Blue Beetle. And then it happened with The Flash. And now it's happening with Argyle. Maybe we should all stop trying to defend garbage. And we might actually get back to a point in cinema where we can get quality content again. This is the problem with modern film discussion. Nobody can put their personal bias aside long enough to be honest about what they are actually seeing. Argyle flopped because nobody gave a shit about it. Period. Don't blame Henry Cavill, blame yourselves for being so complacent. That's what made Hollywood confident that people would show up no matter what they shit out from week to week. Y'all be cool. Got on.